Hi there everyone, my name is Christian Eschbach and welcome to another one of my album reviews. It's been a while since I've covered the Ramones, so I decided uh, since my last album I covered I believe was Adios Amigos, which was their last album, I should go and now get into their first album, The Ramones, just self-titled. Album starts off with the always popular, the most popular, probably, arguably, Ramon song there is, Blitzkrieg Bop. Hey ho, let's go, baby. If you don't know this song already, then someone has done you wrong. Uh, everybody should know Blitzkrieg Bop. That, that's, that's just how that goes, okay? And it's a great way to start off the album, really. It just gets the album thundering up and going, and perfect, perfect intro. From there, we go straight into Beat on the Brat. I dig Beat on the Brat, when the Ramones do it at least, uh, the the vibe they've got to it, it it's kind of, it's almost like happy-go-lucky, it's kind of weird, the delight that they seem to take in singing Beat on the Brat. After that we go into Judy is a Punk. Judy is a Punk is definitely one of those more cliche kind of straight ahead punk songs. Now... Actually, I'm going to cover the next one. Then that goes into I Want to Be Your Boyfriend. Now, I Want to Be Your Boyfriend is most definitely a love song. It is most definitely a ballad. It most definitely belongs on any 50s or 60s oldies rock kind of albums. Because here's the key thing with the Ramones. The Ramones are 50s or 60s oldies rock just sped up. That's all it is. Um, it's not on this album, but they do cover the Beach Boys. Um, do You Want to Dance? And the difference between the Beach Boys' Do You Want to Dance and the Ramones' Do You Want to Dance is literally just tempoed that that's it you know otherwise it's basically the same song uh i mean some would argue differently but for the most but at the core it's the same song you know they don't really change much and i want to be your boyfriend the reason why i say this is a prime example of it is i want to be your boyfriend really just captures your standard kind of battle like you know if you, if, if you took it down you know Probably about 50%. You know, the little swing sit beat that it's got going to it and whatnot, it would be really good. It'd be really fun. It would be really enjoyable to do. Um, you know, but it, it is basically at its core a, a slow ballad that's been, you know, jacked up with a couple rails of cocaine. After that, we go into Chainsaw. Chainsaw is an interesting song. Um... Now, one of the reasons why I think that Chainsaw is an, an interesting song is if you listen to the lyrics, you'd actually think that the song is, would be Texas Chainsaw Massacre because that's what the lyrics are about. Um, but I'm assuming for legal reasons and to avoid headaches, it was just easier to call the song Chainsaw. It's got some great chainsaw effects in the background, which kind of help add to it. Is that not even, I don't think there are even chainsaws. I think it's actually a table saw that was recorded instead and figuring, you know, your average person isn't going to realize the difference or, or a circular saw of some sort. It sounds like a circular saw does, of some sort, whether it be a table saw or, you know, a freehand one, but it doesn't sound like a chainsaw to me. Um, after Chainsaw, we get into, now nah, I want to sniff some glue. I know a lot of people really say that they like this and they think it's a great punk song. And maybe if you're a true punk enthusiast, it's oh, especially old school classic punk like this, it's the type of song you'd really get into. For me, I, I, I appreciate what they do with it musically, lyrically. I'm not a glue sniffer, never was. <laughs> Um, I don't want to go down to the basement follows that up. Now that one, 
the, the I don't want to go down to the basement is definitely a creepy kind of song, and it definitely has major nasty sexual abuse overtones towards it and whatnot. Uh, arguably incestuous overtones, and it really captures that dark, gritty side of punk, you know, the the telling the honest story at the same time. Um, whereas, you know, like, I don't want to go down to the basement, to me, feels more like the political punk you hear them talk about, and less about the Ramones-style classic punk, you know? Um, just like Chainsaw to me kind of feels a little more Misfits, even though I think this would have been a little prior to the Misfits. Uh, well, more than a little prior to the Misfits, you know, about four or five years prior to the Misfits. So we could say even the Misfits kind of took their inspiration from the I Don't Want to Go Down to the Basements, uh, or I mean the uh, Chainsaw part. Even the I Don't Want to Go Down to the Basement, you could almost say the Misfits took some some inspiration from with the lyrical content. Another thing I like about the Ramones, and most people will like about the Ramones, and it's kind of a, a endemic of a lot of, at least early punk, is the fact that it's basically kind of verse, chorus, verse, chorus, out, maybe a little bit in the middle, maybe some chanting, maybe a little bit of an intro, a little bit of an exit. But honestly, like, your average song, really, if it goes over two minutes on punk, it is surprising, which is why having 14 songs on this album is really easy to do. And that's before we get into the bonus tracks. Now, I Don't Want to Go Down to the Basement is only halfway. That is track seven. After that, we get into Loudmouth. Loudmouth, this is this is basic punk. This is 100%. Every punk band I've ever known has always had a song that's kind of like Loudmouth. And it's just kind of one of those get in your face, talking trash, shut your mouth, you're a loudmouth baby, you know, kind of song. After that, we get into Havana Affair. Um... This is a different one, honestly, for the Ramones. This one's got a, definitely a different vibe and a different feel to it. It really captures more of a punk doing kind of a Caribbean kind of vibe, sort of. I think the Red Hot Chili Peppers do a little more justice to it on one other cover on a cover album of theirs I've got. Uh, not at the Ram uh, Ramones cover album I've got where the Peppers are on there, and they do a cool vibe. They give it a little more of that vibe and feel that I think that the Ramones were going for, but due to them being a punk band and the simplicity of their punk band, they weren't able to quite capture that vibe. Or it could have been the producer, because the producer really kind of metronomed them from what I understand when it came to doing this album. After that, we get to Listen to My Heart, which honestly, I, it's not a song that really registers much for me. Then we got 53rd and 3rd. 53rd and 3rd I like because of the drumming on it, man. This one's a little bit different for the Ramones. This is a little almost prog punk almost, the way they play it. It's it's kind of cool. The the switch-ups and the stylings and whatnot, I really kind of get into it. Um, I've played it a few times myself just to practice on drums as a nice little warm-up. It's, it's, it's cool that way. Uh, lyrically... This is about Dee Dee's time as a male prostitute on the streets and really reflective that way. Uh, so this this was a song that was always kind of close to Dee Dee. Um, then you get into Let's Dance. Let's Dance is cool. It's an interesting one. I uh, I enjoy it. I Don't Want to Walk Around With You. That's an interesting one as well, honestly. Um... I like the drumming on this one. It's a little more intricate than you usually get. This album in general is a little more intricate with the drumming than you typically get. The, I find the Ramones after this album stripped back the drumming a lot more, and they did it on purpose. Um, th this one, I think, used a lot more drum patterns. Uh, not necessarily at excess. Like, we're not talking like progging it or going nuts or anything like that. It's just... Instead of doing your basic straight ahead four four kind of thing, you know, they they got a little more, a little more ambitious on Tom work stuff like that. And then the album finishes off with "Today Your Love, Tomorrow the World," which really is a great way to finish this album. The album from beginning to end is honestly a great album. Uh, "Listen to My Heart" is the only song on here that is a throwaway song to me. Anything else is just an album cut at worst. A really good album cut. 
I would recommend this album to anyone. Absolutely anyone. If, especially if you're looking to discover punk, this is a great spot to start with as far as I'm concerned. Now, I got the remastered special edition has extra bunch of tracks on there. And it's all the demos, basically. Uh, you have I Want to Be Your Boyfriend, Judy is a Punk, I Don't Care, I Can't Be, Now I Want to Sniff Some Glue, I Don't Want to Be Learned, I Don't Want to Be Tamed, You Should Never Have Opened That Door, and then the single version of Blitzkrieg Bop. Uh, the demos aren't bad. They're actually pretty cool, some of them. Uh, the demos of the songs that are already on the album, like that are True Blue, the songs that are on the album, those really, to me, kind of felt unnecessary. You know, I Don't Want to Be Your Boyfriend, Judy is a Punk. You're not getting anything really different there. Uh, now I Want to Sniff Some Glue, you get a little bit different, but not a lot. Um, and then, But when you get to I Don't Care, I like I Don't Care. I, I Don't Care is actually pretty cool. I can't be, meh. Uh, I don't want to be learned. I don't want to be tamed. That one's kind of interesting. And you never should open that door. I actually enjoy as well. So I think this was actually a really good collection. I really do like some of the other songs on here, the demos. They're really kind of cool to have. They're actually worth having and enjoying. Whereas a lot of ones where they have the extra tracks, I just kind of start going, really? This is what I got? All right, fine, whatever. Anyways, those are my thoughts and views on the Ramones original first album, Ramones. Let me know what your thoughts and views are. That's what the comment section is for. Otherwise, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Peace, love, take care.